Welcome to the Pre-Registration Examination Online Workshop for 2020. This workshop will comprise of five presentations. The first takes a look at the format and content of the examination. The next two sections help you to prepare for the calculation and general questions. And then lastly, we've got two presentations providing examples of calculation and general questions provided by moderators and examiners of the pre-registration examination. Let's begin by taking a look at the format and content of the examination. The pre-registration examination is an open book online exam comprising of 120 multiple choice questions. You have four hours and 45 minutes to complete the exam, and this includes a 15 minute break between the two sections. You need to obtain a pass mark of 50% with sub minimums in each of the sections. Remember, there is no negative marking. 30% of the examination is based on calculation MCQs. You'll have two hours to complete this part and need to obtain a sub-minimum of 60%. After this section, you'll have 15 minutes break. When you return, you will then begin with the general MCQs. You may not revisit any of the calculation MCQs. You'll have two hours and 30 minutes to complete these questions and need to obtain a sub-minimum of 50%. You may be asking, what is going to be tested in this examination? The examination is based on the 2018 Competency Standards for Pharmacists. As you already know from your CPD entries, there are six domains. Domain 1 is Public Health. Domain 2 is safe and rational use of medicines and medical devices. Domain 3 is the supply of medicines and medical devices. Domain 4 refers to organisation and management skills. Domain 5 looks at professional and personal practice. And lastly, Domain 6 refers to education critical analysis and research. Let's take a look at the overall examination blueprint. 15% of the examination questions come from Domain 1, 26% from Domain 2, 33% from Domain 3, 5% from Domain 4, 17% from Domain 5, and lastly, 4% from Domain 6. Although majority of the questions come from Domain 3 and Domain 4, you cannot ignore the remaining domains. You need to adequately prepare for all six domains of the examination. Now that we've covered the overall content of the examination, Let's take a look at the types of questions. Starting with knowledge questions. Knowledge questions ask that you recall facts or information that you should know from your undergraduate training or practical experience. You may also use the references that you have at your disposal to look up the information. Moving on to application questions. Application questions require that you use several facts and come to a decision or judgment. Lastly, problem solving. Problem solving questions require that you accurately assess a situation or scenario and arrive at a solution. Take note of the icons that we have used. You will see these in the upcoming questions when we provide a further breakdown of the content within each domain. Let's take a look at Domain 1. 15% of the pre-registration examination will have questions relating to public health. Take a few moments to orientate yourself with the graph provided. On the x-axis, we have the number of questions. 
The orange bars refer to calculation questions, whereas the red bars refer to general questions. On the y-axis, we have competencies within domain 1. There is only one calculation question within domain 1. This question will relate to health economics. Competencies 1.1 and 1.2 will have four questions. Competency 1.3 will have two questions. Competency 1.4 will have two questions, one calculation and one general question. Competency 1.5 will have one question. And competency 1.6 will have five questions. Also, take note of the types of questions you can expect. 20% knowledge, 60% application, and 20% problem solving. Now moving on to domain two. 26% of this examination will be based on the safe and rational use of medicines and medical devices. Take a look at the graph provided. There are 10 calculations within this domain. There are also no questions relating to competency 2.1, patient consultation. You can expect six questions from competency 2.2, three questions from competency 2.3 with one calculation, five questions from competency 2.4 with three calculations, three questions from competency 2.5 with one calculation, five calculation and five general questions in competency 2.6, two general questions relating to competency 2.7, and two general questions relating to competency 2.8. 15% of these will be knowledge questions, 55% application, and 30% problem solving. 33% of the pre-registration examination will be based on Domain 3, the supply of medicines and medical devices. From the graph, you can see that majority of questions in this domain are calculations. You can expect four calculation and four general questions from Competency 3.1, five general and five calculation questions from Competency 3.2, one calculation or general question in 3.3. Of the 10 questions in 3.4, seven of these will be calculations and three general. In competency 3.5, there are 10 calculation questions. And lastly, in competency 3.6, there is one general question. 5% of these questions will be based on knowledge, 65% application, and 30% problem solving. A smaller portion, 5% of the pre-registration examination, is based on Domain 4, Organisation and Management Skills. There are seven questions with one possible calculation question. There are no questions relating to change management, competency 4.5. You can expect one general question relating to competency 4.1, either one general question or one calculation question relating to competency 4.2, one question within 4.3, two questions from 4.4, and one question from 4.6. The types of questions that you can expect, 10% knowledge, 80% application, and 10% problem solving. Domain 5, Professional and Personal Practice, makes up 17% of the pre-registration examination. Please note that there are no calculation questions within this domain. There are also no questions relating to 5.4, Continual Professional Development, 
collaborative practice, 5.8, self-management, and 5.9, communication. There will be three questions relating to 5.1, seven questions relating to 5.2, eight questions from 5.3, and one question from 5.5 and 5.6. 10% of the questions will be based on knowledge, 45% application, and 45% problem solving. Domain 6, Education, Critical Analysis and Research, contributes 4% of the examination. You can expect three questions relating to critical analysis and two based on research. There are no questions relating to competency 6.1 to 6.4 or 6.7 to 6.8. 5% of the questions will be knowledge questions. 40% application and 55% problem solving. We have now covered the format and content of the examination. In the next sections of this workshop, we are going to cover information relating specifically to the calculations and general questions of the paper. We are going to take a look at what administrative tasks you need to do prior to the examination, how you're going to prepare, and what to expect on the day of the examination. This brings us to the end of the first part of the intern examination online workshop. Do you have any questions? Please email interns at sapc.org.za with any questions you may have. Thank you.